Within this lesson, we will find factor pairs for numbers up to 100 and use this understanding of factors to define prime and composite numbers. Do you know what a 1 by 8 array or a 2 by 4 array would look like and how you would draw that? Here's the 1 by 8 array where we have one row and eight columns. We can write a multiplication sentence to represent this array. One times eight equals eight, where eight is called our product. Our answer to a multiplication problem is called a product. And these two numbers are called factors. With our two by four array, we would have two rows of four each. And we'd write that out the same way with our multiplication sentence, two times four being eight. What are our factors within this equation? Right, two and four. Those are both factors. And our product, just as before, was also eight. Those numbers that we multiply together to get 8 are called our factors. So our factors of 8 are right here, 1, 8, 2, and 4. Typically we list our factors in order, so we will list them in order. We have 1, 2, 4, 8. Those are all factors of 8. Here's another way to think of factors. If we're looking to find the factors of 20, we can think of our multiplication chart and where it is that 20 appears. We can think of all of our multiplication sentences that we can come up with, with two counting numbers being multiplied together to get 20. Help me out here. One times what? Right, 20 equals 20. Let's take 2. 2 times what equals 20? Can we go 3? Hmm, I don't think so. We can go 4, though. 4 times what? 4 times 5 equals 20. We can't go 6. We can't get to 7. There's no number times 7 that would give us 20. We can't go 8. And it goes 8, 16, and 24. We can't go 9. That's 9, 18, and 27. And we're back to 10 again. So we know that we've actually found all of our factors of 20. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. There's one, two, three, four, five, six factors of 20. These are all the factors. Those are the two numbers that we can multiply together to be able to get 20 in this case because we are trying to find the factors of 20. Since 20 has more than two factors, it is called a composite number. Say that word, composite. 20 is a composite number. Numbers with exactly two factors are prime numbers. Let's look at the number 13 and we'll also look at the number 17. Let's go through those steps to find those factors. We multiply 1 by 13, we get 13. We can't use 2 because 2 times 6 already is 12, and 2 times 7 is 14. We can't get to 13 evenly. 3, nope. 3, 4, 6, 
9, 12, 15. Can't do that either. 4? Well, if it's already not 2, then it can't be 4 either. I'll even show you, though, 4, 8, 12, 16. We can't do that. It does not end with a 0 or a 5. Therefore, can't have 5 times anything. Again, we can't have 6 times anything. It's 6, 12, then 18. 7, it goes 7, then 14. So again, we do not have anything that we can multiply. Similarly with 8, similarly with 9, and 10 would be at the end with the 0. It goes 11, then 22. So our only two numbers are 1 and 13. We do the same type of thing with 17, where we get 1 times 17 equals 17 where 1 and 17 are our only two factors, are our only two factors, so we call this number a prime number. We call it a prime number when it has exactly two factors. The factors of 13 are what? 1 and 13. Okay, it's your turn to try. Find the factors of 30. Is 30 a prime or a composite number? Pause the video while you're doing your work. What'd you start with? Hopefully 1, because 1 times what? 30 equals 30. Did you list your factors in order? Three times what? Ten gives you thirty. Can't be four. We do get five though, because five times six equals thirty. We got to six again, which is already right here, so we know we're done. These are your factors of thirty. List them in order. We have one, two, three, five, six, ten, fifteen, and thirty. Notice they correspond to each other. 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Did you say whether it was a prime or composite number? 30 is a composite number. These right here are all the factors of 30. Here is your turn to try again. It's asking you to circle the prime numbers. How about 10? Well, 10 is an even number, so we know we have 2 as one of the factors co corresponding with 5, and every number has 1 and 10 as factors. So the factors of 10 are all of those there, so it has more than 2 factors. 11 should have been circled. Only You can get, only get 11 by going 1 times 11. We can't have 12 because, again, the factors of 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. In fact, we'll cross out all of our even numbers that are within this list. Our only even prime number is 2. Now, of these numbers, there's one more we can cross out. All the other ones will be circled. Which of those numbers? It was this one right here, where the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. 3 times 5 does give you 15. So 15 is a composite number. That's why we crossed it out. All the other ones, the only way to get them is multiplying 1 with itself. So we took a look today at prime numbers, where there are exactly two factors. We also looked at what factors are and how we could figure them out using either arrays or multiplication problems. And we also looked at the definition of a composite number like 15. And we did look to see that when we do list factors, we list them from smallest to largest. We list them in order.